Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, this time out, we're in the Roland 389 and um, the Bart Step Deck in the Chaparral Hotshot Paint Jobs. So, uh, yeah, it uh, should be a good one. Let's uh, hop in and get going. Oh, yeah, so if you haven't seen this before, see all that crazy stuff happen when you start it? Let's do that again. The steering wheel moves, the uh, guy puts in the clutch, looks like he puts it in second gear, uh, which would be back here. And uh, yeah, see that again. That's just the ignition. Oh, darn, I saw the throttle on there. See the throttle pedal move? Brake pedal moves. And a whole bunch of switches. So, lights. Uh, four ways you're going to see on the left here below the signal column over here. Just watch there for the four way. That right, goes on. Then the uh, beacons, that'll be over on the right somewhere here. There's the beacons on. And uh, off. Uh, wipers are over here. We'll see them on, the, on that signal stock on the left side. That thing, watch on it. Two, three. All the positions. And um, diff lock will be on the right. Uh, the gauges up top there. Diff lock. And uh, yeah, it's got uh, lots of good stuff. Jake is on the dash up there. Must be a switchboard somewhere. I'm trying to see something move. No, I don't see anything move. Uh, of course, the windows are animated and the window switches, etc. So anyway, let's uh, get a move on here. Oh, parking brakes. i got to start my little my dashboard here. There we go. This is a pretty nice truck, this Roland. It's uh, awfully expensive, but uh, my friend Matt says uh, you can buy uh, three, you know, cheap trucks and not be very happy with them, or you can buy one of these and drive it a whole bunch. <laughs> so I guess he's got a point. Lately, uh, I've been so busy and, you know, working on the car and stuff and getting warmer out and uh, the only driving I do now is to do these videos and that's it. Like I get a little half hour, yards, turn right. a little half hour trip a day and I got to be satisfied with that. So. Sure, like to be doing more, but how oh, is he ever going to go? <laughs> Didn't time that too well. So we're headed for um, uh, Burns, Oregon. We're in Klamath Falls, which is or I believe is Oregon as well. So it's a interstate, not an interstate. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a sec. No, no, this load. We're going to Carson City, I think. 
That was a different load, sorry. Yeah, let's just make sure of that. Let's see if I can get this screen to change. I don't have much luck with that. Depends what screen I'm on. I can't always change it. Uh oh. Danger of crashing here. Maybe we'll just wait till we get to a light. Yeah, that, judging by the shadows, we're heading south. So, yeah, we're going this one's to Carson City. This truck, it, it just seems to drive really well. It's, uh, it's a pleasant truck. Oh, California inspection. My frame rate's so low right now. I wonder what that's about 50. It's usually uh, way higher than that. Huh. Pop it onto the map here sooner or later. Oh, there we are. Okay. Looks like a left turn coming up here. I should adjust the uh, dash map, make it a little easier to figure out. going left. Yeah, so I guess we're still waiting for guys to catch up on some of the mods out there. And uh, I guess the maps will be the last to happen. Really looking forward to having Pro Mods Canada back and to see what uh, Reforma does with integrating the. Uh, how, how they integrate uh, into the. Uh, their Sierra Nevada bit of California and Nevada 
into the uh, 144 because right now their workaround is just to remove all of that and a uh, bit of a shame but uh, it's just you know it's, it's a no-brainer why is that California rework touched on a whole bunch of stuff they had done Hopefully we lose these guys here. Uh, that's good so far. Uh oh. How much room do I have to make this corner? Not much. What if I can get this guy to back up? Kinda doubt it. Oh, there he goes. Oops, let's get the appropriate gear here. Nice. That was nice of him. So we got the uh, Ratro Developments 24.5s on here. Truck and trailer. Got their Alcoa oval twos on the front axle and their ones on the back. The ones have a much bigger hole in them. I think they look a little funny on the front axle, but they look good on the back. So it, do, it doesn't seem to look too weird when you mix them up. <laughs> well, that's just my humble opinion. And we all know about opinions. 've so come up this road before uh, in 144 when it was a beta we saw they did that work around the uh, the big um, scrapyard I'm not sure how far ahead that scrapyard is but it's up here a little ways and they really expanded it because in the older version of the game it was just the actual yard kind of compact one and we saw last time we came by there was a whole bunch of buildings I think we might be getting close to it yeah here have a look at all of this look at all the ad that they added here it used to just be this shed here on the right Maybe a bit of that yard, but it uh, it grew a lot. Maybe someday they'll have uh, jobs out of there. stretch to look at the truck so you see the uh, stripes go around the air filter or the flames rather there is an option to uh, called wrap for the air filter where it wraps any stripes you have around the filter so I, I selected it and it wrapped the filter with the flames so that's kind of cool looks a little different from the front but uh, it's pretty cool from the side. Got our hotshot license plate on the trailer. I guess, oh, I can't remember if I could do a plate on the front of this truck. I think you can. I should have done one. I don't think the game puts one on it. Nope. It's up to me. So I got the um, 379 grill on it, or grill shell, as opposed to the 389 grill. Which means you can't, you can, it doesn't uh, work with the Pride and Class 
grill, then if you have that rat shell on, or you have to, you've got limited choices. But I kind of like this triple diamond thing with yards, turn left. with the bars in it. Truckers, press R to listen. too long we'll be in Nevada. Just a hop, skip, and a jump from uh, Carson City. Well, I guess we got to go past Reno. Should say we're a hop, skip, and a jump from Reno, I guess. Man, this DD60 sounds good. At uh, 355 right. gears in here. And a load of pods going to Lennar in Carson City. So, this being the default Carson City. I guess uh, we got their name changes in there, the real place names or whatever, company names. I think that's going to be that same one we drove into the other day, if I'm not mistaken, when we took the uh, tour around um, Lake Tahoe. I think that was the Lennar site. I don't know if we had real company names going in that profile. This is a basically a new profile that I've got. Uh, uh, what do I have in here for terms? I think just this one and one other. I forget what it is. I'm trying to avoid truck conflicts and stuff. Hop inside for a bit. I'll do a lane change here sooner or later. Get over there. I notice how this update or whatever, it's drawing the uh, Center line is a solid line down the way a bit. Or, I don't know why that's happening. Noticed that uh, the other day. It's it's worse when you're outside the truck. Uh, it seems to stop doing it. Maybe it's just different parts of the map. Because it's not doing it right now. I guess uh, it's because I mentioned it. I zoom that map out one more time. Uh, right turn coming up. Or is that just a highway? Maybe just a highway.
we're sitting past this guy or we're gonna be turning off soon. I guess we're kind of stuck here. Carson City. Right here. Keep right. I got the interior noise mods on in here. I just realized that. Go straight. Whoa. Right. <laughs> I was going to go into the service station, service uh, center. Yeah, this is the site I thought it would be. You have reached your destination. Oh, hopefully, didn't leave this too late. Just gotta go way out there to get this uh, tra uh, trailer around this fence. How's it going back there? Oh yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, where do they want it? Oh, we get to turn around down there. Yeah, okay, hold your, sh your shorts on there. kind of cool if when they update the game from version to version say this building here would be a little further along in the update but I guess that's a lot of work <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of buildings under construction but I guess they're all prefab so you just update the prefab and drop it in where it exists and you know put a get it up to the main floor or the basement down or whatever that would be kind of cool. Oh, 
Oh, what are the chances of us doing this with the mirror? I'm kind of lost with these mirrors, in all honesty. No idea what I'm doing at any given time with them. Oh. Well, we got it. It's probably ugly as all get out. Let's have a look. Oh, well. We'll take it. Yeah, let's see how we did on our trip. And let's have a look. 44 gallons, 324 miles. Yeah, we were ripping along there. <laughs> when we were outside of the cab there, it's... I tend to get going a little fast. I paid pretty good. Oh, rain. Here comes the rain. Anyway, essentially the uh, SCS 389 with uh, a whole bunch of really fine features added to it. So if, the, uh, if you have the, this paint job, you can put it on the SCS 389 and uh, it works. So just so you know, if you see paint jobs for Roland's truck, and it goes in the other direction too. An SCS 389 paint job will work on Roland truck. So, just so you know. Uh, but with a whole whack of uh, options and animations and things added. Anyway, thanks for following along, guys. As always, I really appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, maybe consider doing so. And if you enjoyed it, push the like button. If you didn't, better tell me why, and I'll uh, pick up my game. <laughs> anyway, take care, guys. Bye for now.